Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Sincerely KSO. If it's your first time to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, my honeys. Thank you so much for joining me again today. We've got a requested reaction, and this is a song by Coldplay, Speed of Sound. So I did Coldplay uh, a few weeks ago, and it was yellow. It was my very first time listening. I've always known about them, but I never really paid attention to their music. But I guess you guys are so impressed by yellow and I really, really love that color. I love the song so much. It touched my heart that you sent me another one. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Um, I think I might create a playlist for them. So um, check that out after my reaction and also check out my other videos. So let's listen. First time listening to the song Speed of Sound. Oh, I didn't play yet. <laughs> okay.
them. Oh, they're four. Because in yellow, in yellow, in the music video for yellow, it was just him singing, right? I didn't see anyone. So I, I didn't know that there were other um, members. The sound, the start of it was so powerful and it really caught me. And, you know, I closed my eyes and I just couldn't bring myself to open it because I was enjoying it so much. And I was trying to feel it because at some point it felt very familiar uh, but not familiar with them, familiar with a uh, with a, a movie. So I was closing my eyes trying to see what movie it it where I heard it, and I was trying. I was looking for the scene. You know what I mean? Where you can trace a sound to a specific event or um, film or situation, and then you close your eyes because you're trying to trace it. You're trying to find it if it was there. Um, but all I could see in the, in, the, in the picture in my mind was, I don't know why I saw Jacques, Jacques is it Jacques, Jacqueline? Phoenix? The, 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 the movie, I, I might be very way off. The movie that he did with Mel Gibson about aliens, but maybe it's just the sound, that was what it was evoking in me, but maybe it was not in that movie. But I was, I could, I was trying and then those two people appeared and I was like, maybe it's not. All right, remember that movie about the, the, that they had aliens and one jumped upon the roof with Mel Gibson? Oh my goodness, that was really good. Um, so the lyrics go, oh, let's talk about the sound. I loved it. Of course, you can tell I loved it from the very first ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. I love that. <laughs> and his voice, his voice is so, so unsure and kind. It's how long before I begin? Da, 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 da. I like his voice. I like Adam Levine. Like that whole f uh, sk <laughs> skinny man. <laughs> That's how I describe them. Voices. It's so funny. Uh, it's so nice too. Really good. Um, so the lyrics to the song says, how long before I get in, before it starts, before I begin? How long before you decide, before I know what it feels like? Now, just with that line alone, it's it sounds very um, mischievous and naughty, but I wanted to give it more. So he <laughs> said, where to, where do I go? If you never try, then you'll never know. How long do I have to climb up on this side of the, up on this side, up on the side of this mountain of mine? Look up, I look at night, planets are moving at the speed of light. Climb up, up in the trees. Every chance that you get is a chance that you seize. How long am I going to stand with my head stuck in the sand? I'll start before I can stop, before I see things the right way up. Okay. The more I read it, the more mischievous it gets but i do know that there is also a different aspect to it in the sense that i could see that being um confronting your fears or confronting your your challenges the first verse made it look like this man was about to have some sort of intimate relations with someone the very first time and he's trying to make sure she she's comfortable with it before he proceeds that's one side it could also be before how long before i get in like sometimes you know how people who have who okay like imagine the dalai lama and he is that his dalai am i saying it correctly and he has students and people that he teaches and they're like, oh, when you have that feeling, oh, before you get into the second stage of wisdom, these are the things that you have to accomplish before you get to the order of this or the knowledge of that. These are the things you have to do. So a lot of times I'm thinking when someone says how long before I get forward, how long before I, it's the stages that he has to cross before he is He's considered knowledgeable before he is considered a teacher in his own right within that faith. It's 
almost in every faith that there are places you have to cross. But on a simplistic level with just looking at it and saying, it seems like, oh, he's asking, listen, girl, I want to do this. How long before we get there? How long before we get to that stage? So I don't know. I, let's read some more. The third verse says, all that noise and all that sound, all those places I have found, the birds go flying at the speed of sound to show you how it all began. Birds come flying from the underground. If you could see, then you'd understand. Ideas you never find, all the inventors could never design. The buildings that you pull up, Japan and China all lit up the sign that I could I couldn't read or a light that I couldn't see some things you have to believe but others are puzzles puzzling me and that goes back to the teaching that I was explaining with the whole part of invention inventions and buildings and wisdom and there are still learning processes no one has ever come and said I am the one who knows everything I am the teacher of all things the 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 one who the the keeper of all knowledge it's always a puzzle there's always something to learn and be learned right that's how i'm interpreting it i might be way off i'm not sure all that noise all that sound all those places i have found hmm all the birds go flying at the speed of sound but that's not possible how 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 do that how would they do that to show you how it all be began, birds keep flying from the underground. If you could see, then you'd understand. All of those signs, I knew what they meant. Some of the things you can't invent. And some get made and some get sent. Some get made and some get sent. Things I don't understand. Birds go flying to show you how it all began. Is he talking about the beginning of life or the beginning of the earth? Some things you can't invent and some get made and go, I don't know. That part I, I'm stuck, stuck at. So let me know how you interpret the song, please. If you have any like understanding to the lyrics, let me know in the comment section. I'm more than happy to discuss it with you. If you've got any requests, my honeys, please use the, the link in the description part of my reaction videos. Head over to my website. I look forward to hearing from you. I'm your girl, Sincerely Kia. So on to the next song.